At the heart of the Milky Way, hidden behind clouds of gas and dust, lies a place where gravity bends reality itself. It is called Sagittarius A, SGR A, the supermassive black hole anchoring our galaxy. With a mass of 4.3 million suns, it is immense yet paradoxically small in size, confined to a region smaller than Mercury's orbit around the Sun. From Earth, it hides behind 26,996 light-years of stars, clouds and cosmic dust. For centuries, we knew something mysterious lurked at the center, influencing the orbits of stars that dance in tight, high-speed orbits. It tugged, unseen, but its pull was undeniable. Astronomers imagined it, simulated it, and finally in 2022 they saw it. The Event Horizon Telescope captured the first image of SGRA's shadow, a dark silhouette surrounded by glowing gas, confirming what theories had long predicted. It is both terrifying and beautiful. A hole in space yet radiant, alive with the energy of matter falling into its gravity well. How do you measure something that cannot be seen? SGRA reveals itself indirectly. Stars orbiting it like swarms of bees around a hive betray the presence of an immense central mass. Gas clouds heated to millions of degrees spiral inward, emitting X-rays and radio waves mapping the black hole's presence. For decades, instruments like the Very Large Telescope and the Keck Observatory tracked stars near the galactic center. One star, S2, sweeps around SGRA HES every 16 years, reaching speeds of several thousand kilometers per second at its closest approach. Its orbit alone allows us to calculate the mass of the invisible center. Then came the Event Horizon Telescope, a globe-spanning network of radio dishes using very long baseline interferometry. Together, they act like a telescope the size of Earth itself, capable of resolving the smallest shadow cast by a black hole over 26,000 light years away and the image arrived. A ring of light surrounding a dark core, a direct glimpse at the edge of the unknown. The first image of SGRA is more than a photo. It is a window into physics at its limits. The dark center is the event horizon, the boundary beyond which nothing can escape, not even light. Around it, gas swirls in a searing halo, glowing in radio wavelengths heated by friction and magnetic forces to temperatures hotter than the sun's core. The ring is asymmetric, slightly brighter on one side, evidence of gas moving at relativistic speeds, nearly the speed of light, as predicted by Einstein's theory of general relativity. This glowing halo is a cosmic ballet of matter and energy, choreographed by the invisible hand of gravity. It is chaotic, violent and mesmerizing. SGRA is quiet compared to some other supermassive black holes. It consumes only a trickle of matter, yet its presence dominates the Milky Way, anchoring billions of stars, shaping orbits, and defining the galaxy's gravitational heart. If the Milky Way were alive, Sagittarius A would be its heart. Every few hours this heart beats, we see it in the flicker of light, brief flares of infrared and X-ray radiation bursting from the darkness, these flares are thought to come from clumps of gas whipping around the black hole, heating to millions of degrees as they fall inward. Sometimes a magnetic field snaps, a cosmic spark, and for an instant, the galactic center shines a thousand times brighter. To us, those pulses are whispers across time. They tell us the black hole is not silent. It breathes, it feeds, it changes. Even in its quiet hunger, there is rhythm a reminder that the heart of the Milky Way is not dead, but alive. Surrounding Sagittarius A is a cluster of stars, young, massive and fast. They orbit in graceful ellipses, some traveling at thousands of kilometers per second. Each orbit is a confession of gravity's power. The astronomers have watched these stars for decades, plotting their paths with exquisite precision. When the star S2 swings nearest the black hole, it feels a gravitational pull that bends space itself. Its light shifts, blue when it races toward us, red when it swings away, just as Einstein's equations foretold. These stars are our test particles in a cosmic laboratory. Their orbits confirm that space and time around Sagittarius A behave exactly as relativity predicts, curved, 
twisted, stretched by mass. What was once theory becomes landscape, visible in their motion. Close to the event horizon, order dissolves into turbulence. Magnetic fields writhe like living things, threading through superheated plasma. Particles spiral along those lines, creating flares, jets, and radio bursts that ripple outward across light years. Though Sagittarius A is modest compared with giants like M87, its environment is a cauldron of complexity. Gas falls in clumps, radiation escapes in flashes, the whole region shifts from moment to moment. To simulate it requires supercomputers, not because the math is exotic, but because the chaos is. The Event Horizon Telescope's image, blurred though it seems, captures that restless energy, light dancing at the edge of forever. It is the most intimate portrait ever taken of our galaxy's hidden engine. Every galaxy has a center of gravity, a quiet dictator whose influence extends for hundreds of thousands of light years. In ours, that dictator is Sagittarius A. It did not appear after the Milky Way was built. It may have helped build it. Its gravity organizes the flow of matter, guides stellar nurseries, and regulates the rhythm of creation. When it feeds too greedily, it releases torrents of energy that sweep through the galactic core, quenching star formation. When it rests, gas can cool and new stars are born. In this way, the black hole acts as both destroyer and midwife. Its outbursts sculpt the spiral arms. Its silence allows them to glitter. If you could see the Milky Way from above, you might notice that its elegant disk and glowing center are not separate things at all. They are one conversation begun billions of years ago between gravity and light. Sagittarius A is calm today, but the evidence of its past tempers tells another story. Gamma ray telescopes have discovered two vast bubbles of radiation billowing from the galactic center, stretching 50,000 light years into space. They are called the Fermi bubbles and they glow like ghosts. Those bubbles may be scars from an ancient eruption, a time when SGRA flared as a quasar, devouring matter and blasting jets that pierced the galactic halo. For a brief epoch, our quiet Milky Way may have blazed across intergalactic space, a lighthouse of energy. Now the light has faded, the jets long gone, but their echo remains. Two immense lanterns marking where our galaxy once raged. They remind us that even what seems eternal can change, that stillness is often the surface of great memory. Stand for a moment in your imagination beside that black hole. Near its event horizon, time itself slows. A second for you could stretch into years for someone watching from far away. To fall towards Sagittarius A is to enter a different tempo of existence, where clocks lose meaning. From Earth we can never approach that close, yet its gravity touches us nonetheless. Every star in the night sky, every planet, every comet moves within its grasp. Our sun circles it once every 230 million years, a slow waltz that has carried life from the age of dinosaurs to today. So even as we orbit quietly in the outer suburbs of the Milky Way, we are tethered to that dark center. The pull of Sagittarius A shapes our seasons of cosmic time, binding us to the galaxy's history. We are children of its gravity, sculpted by an object we cannot see and can barely comprehend. Black holes are the last structures to die in the universe. Stars live, shine and fade. Galaxies collide and merge but gravity endures. When the Milky Way and the Andromeda Galaxy meet, five billion years from now, their disks will twist together like smoke. At the center of the new merged galaxy, the two supermassive black holes, our Sagittarius A and Andromeda's, will spiral inward, circling faster and faster until they collide. That moment will shake space itself. Gravitational waves ripples in the fabric of reality will rush outward across billions of light years. To distant observers, the event will flicker for an instant and then fall silent, leaving behind a single, larger black hole, perhaps 50 million suns in mass, the heart of a new galaxy forged from two. And then, eons of darkness. Stars will burn out, planets will freeze, the universe will thin, Sagittarius A, whatever it is then called, will remain, 
waiting in the deep time beyond human imagination. For trillions of years, it will slowly leak energy through Hawking radiation until it fades in a final whisper of light. From that whisper, the cosmos will remember that once, a spiral galaxy full of living worlds turned around a small, silent hole in space. Every black hole we discover is a mirror. M87, the giant we photographed first, shows us power, jets that span galaxies. Sagittarius A shows us intimacy, our own heart hidden behind dust. They obey the same equations, Einstein's geometry written on the sky. Yet each reveals a different aspect of the universe's character. From them we learn that space is not empty, but elastic, that time can be stretched, that light can be trapped. We learn that the universe's extremes are not chaos, but structure pushed to its limit. Through radio waves and mathematics, we have turned the invisible visible. The first image of Sagittarius A is grainy, trembling with uncertainty, yet it is history's most profound self-portrait. We are the first species to see the object our entire galaxy orbits, the first to look into the gravitational core that has guided us for billions of years. When you look at that orange ring, the blurred halo of light, you are looking at the reflection of your own origins. Because without that black hole, there would be no Milky Way, and without the Milky Way, no sun, and without the sun, no you. Astronomy is not about stars, it is about perspective. Each discovery pulls the horizon a little farther from our feet, asking, how much more is there? How much more can we understand? Sagittarius A began as a rumor in starlight, a suspicion written in orbits. Now it is an image, a model, a story woven through our instruments and imagination. It has changed the way we think of galaxies, not as static pinwheels, but as living ecosystems bound by gravity and time. And in its quiet center, it holds a paradox that the darkest places in the universe can illuminate the most, that what swallows light can also teach us how to see. So when you step outside at night and the Milky Way stretches over you like spilled silver, remember what lies beneath its glow. 27,000 light years away, at the cross of Sagittarius, a shadow turns slowly in the dark. It does not shine, yet it defines the shining. It does not move, yet everything moves around it. It is the still point of our cosmic dance, the heart of the galaxy, the echo of creation, the reminder that even in darkness, understanding can rise like dawn. Sagittarius A, our galaxy's black sun, our silent center, our mirror in the deep.